today is another spontaneous day and we decided that we're going to take a little trip out of town not like we had like i said it's spontaneous which means we never had a plan right so we got into kingston city and then we asked each other the question so where are we going and you are truly just start to drive like normal if you don't know human beings here's a father and a son that looks good all right so we're heading we don't know how far we'll get to but we're on the garden town road and um being very careful here on the Garda Town Road because you know that there are some sections that are narrow. You also know Oops. that um, there is some road work that is supposed to be going on here because when the heavy rains were on, this area was severely affected. So we got my dupes them. We live up a Garda Town, but I'm not going to be going thus far. I think I'll take the left turn around the corner. Now, on the right side here where you're seeing these vehicles right down there there's a lovely river hence all of these people congregated here jamaica apparently semi-open so everybody is doing their thing so everybody come on um river for today i do the little do my girl st joe's um church is right there they have a nice little campsite over there as well <sighs> so when you come into these places come you have on, to use your heart you. come on mr sir yeah man River run right across there if I'm not mistaken I think it might be the Hope River that runs along this road all right so remember what I said all the way up the top is not um, possible so we're not going to try to get into the Indian square of um, Garda Town but here's a detour road if you are going to Garda Town and then you have a steep place where you have to go down where I tell you I drive down there so one time never again not doing it again but we're on route and we will show you where we're going as we're going here is the route to Hollywell now we expect that for or to Newcastle let's start there because you get to Newcastle before you get to Hollywell but the truth of the matter is that um, the road surface here is good and you expect it to be good because despite the fact that this is so much winding road and it is so far it's a tourist area people come to the blue mountain on a daily basis right this but is Harry. who Mas Harry. we don't know but you don't know big up, big up, big up. yeah we don't really know who but still you know look at even this section yeah, right where here. you see the boulders falling that's yes, and we're told that dangerous, dangerous car ahead. So Please blow horn. Let me tell you this: if you can't drive, don't take this on. It's not for the faint at. Where's the faint of heart or faint, faint of heart? Okay, I like it. It's not for the faint hearted. All right, so for those persons who might actually want to get into Garden Town, this is the route down this very steep hill that you'd have to take, right? So look, all of these places over here are tourist stop. People pass here to get their jelly coconuts and, you know, all the wonderful things that are to be found, like a little bit of ooh, herbs. Look at the natural landscape. The tree them up here look greener than normal, don't yeah. it? Very yeah, green. You see rain fall up here every day. Every single day. And the truth is, I want to get to our final destination, though we haven't decided just yet what that's going to be. I want to get there and get back before it starts raining. Hi, All right, Miss Lily. Boy, everybody I come through here have a name. Everybody has a name. So this vehicle in front of me is a taxi. Um, it was driving behind me all the way from Happy Inn, but I allowed it to pass because it's always good to have somebody who really knows the road in front of you so that your driving experience becomes a little bit better. But yeah, my Yaffa can corner. You have to be alert. They have guest place up here. With then this. Catherine Speak is up here as well. Ooh. So what I like is the fact that he's in front of me, right? And he knows the road. He's using his horn, so it makes it easier for me. Yeah, older yeah, man. And people come up here, so come live. We tell you about Jamaican people, some places. Some weird places. Weird ass places. But there's them no way. You don't gonna live yourself, no, you? no way. Mm -mm. Just imagine say so you live right as so, all right? And you're, you're in a labor. Oh, <laughs> yeah, have the baby up here. Yeah, that's the baby up here. Over there, so over there, so 
lovely greenery. There's green at the slush and greens. Nice. Where is this? So the my walk about them business. Okay, Mount Edge is gonna be on the right hand side where you have um Eats Cafe. So a lot of people come up here just to sit down and sip some coffee. But this is still near, Eats Cafe is still near compared to um where Hollywell is. I am here. Happy nice. <laughs> it's also good if you start your journey kinda early, you know? So that you can take it on. No, my mother grab me, but you know I'm gonna tell the lady morning. Of course you'll be tell the lady morning. Yeah. yeah. yeah like uh, one star, yeah? So I'll stall there. Big up, big up! I wonder where I have over there. You don't know you know, because they don't even take the time for look and see. Oh, what's this big building? Um, I think it's like a little place where you can stand in the eatery. Hi! The eatery they right round here somehow. Oh. Okay, so here so it becomes a little bit narrower. Mm -hmm. It's very narrow. Yes, child. Irish town. Are you from Irish town? Mm -hmm. Welcome to Irish town. Okay. Pick up yourself, my youths. Irish town. Okay. So people like Miss Miss um, Lou, Miss Miss Lou um, Bossy Barbara. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. up here. It's up oh, up they probably live all of them places. Then, 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 and she used to traverse this she every does this day. Every day. Them up church up here, kingdom all of Jehovah yeah, Witnesses. Yeah, civilized place. I'm telling you. Wow. It is a civilized place, my dear. Sean. Cafe Blue is coming up on it's the right hand Cafe side. Blues is. We never know that. Not Cafe Blues, like Blues, oh. Cafe Blue. Blue, no, right. that's not on it. Yeah, no, okay. it's not on it. So that's Cafe Blue on the right side. It smells nice. It smell yes, it. freshly brewed coffee. Yeah. We have nowhere to turn back, you know. Uh -uh. And if you don't know the road, huh? The road is good. It's not bad, but it's winding. I don't like the winding part of it. Mm -hmm. Blue Mountain and Jungle Mountain come to me. Yeah, something like this. Like yeah. that. You must go learn geography. I did it. We got my geography teacher. On air, your lodge. <laughs> <laughs> so if you listen carefully, you're going to hear a lot of Pini Wally. Now, people feel like Pini Wally only make nice at night time. Pini Wally make nice at daytime, nighttime, anytime. Alright. If you want to know, woo, if you are a good driver, I them road there you have to come test your skill pad. When you want off the corner, but them road there. Like really. Yeah man, it rains here every day. Every single day. So we have just gone through the district of red, red light. light. And the red light is like um, where the taxis will come and stop for a part of the journey. Red light is also like you that have, you know, Melrose Hill or Fake Spen or one of them places there where they actually um, set up. Uh, okay. Where they actually set up um, Yourself, like the little food spot and so so you can buy a little soup and all them things there en route right you know the man knowing from where oh jesus a friend do you smile out of oh, smile out all her face and a wave let him see a pretty girl like me no more scar to me a true man <laughs> go on over, go on so, over so, so, so one of the problems too with here your heart. is the fact that you have to use your heart but i said that already but it's the fact that you have a lot of tourists who come here as in not local tourists now, but foreigners. Not a tourist like me. <laughs> foreigners who come here and they take on the driving because they think that this long winding road is something nice to do and all of that. If you look over here. It's a narrow bridge. A narrow bridge is coming up, but look to the side, you see all of the boulders, right? So it's a landslide. You know that landslide take place here, so and pretty much if you're driving, this is where you're just gonna take your time and go through no rush you see it look there who is it come down there jesus have mercy have mercy lord them them place i need suv yeah we think some little carrier to a four-wheel drive we don't need it yet though we're just in regular drive going so you see what i'm saying this person is going around look what the person did go on the Put right the side of the road mm -hmm. you don't want to do that this is a pump station yeah and if you follow this route it takes you to the prince valley guest house all right go through is he saying here to pass mm -hmm. all right i guess he thinks that i know where i'm going so mm -hmm. the fact that he met the passing means that he might be a tourist or to feel like when god did i make jamaica he make up first 
is the famous Catherine's Peak above all others. This is where you get that good, good water. So I'll pull up here, so just in case people don't know, this is Catherine's Peak. This is where they do all of the bottle water and stuff. This is where it's from natural spring water. Hi! All right, so we're entering Newcastle. Starlight Chalet and Health Spa is around this section too. So Newcastle is right around the corner and of course you know that that is one of the bases for the soldiers here in Jamaica. And it's a narrow little place. It's so interesting what Newcastle is, meaning the fact that you can drive through it, right? Now, I've heard stories about persons detecting, not detecting, but I said detecting like a them go, they go look for it. I've heard stories that um, there has been snowfall this here at Newcastle. Yes, you're going to drive through Newcastle. So, and if you look up here, so on the side, that is a part of the soldier base so or camp or whatever you call it. So, look at it, how narrow it is. Oh, wonderful. Let me so go even have, slower. So, look you there. have to go through, through here? Yes, darling. You're going through Newcastle. Oh. So sometimes the soldiers might be here and they might say to you, say, oh, pull over. I joke them now until you pull over. Look over that side. That's pretty. They're doing some kind of Please be mindful that you are already in the mountains. Yeah, you are. Right? You are in the mountains. So some people feel like, oh, it's, you have to get to another place to get to what is the blue mountains. No, I know the mountain you're there. I drive around. And you can feel the difference in temperature cool. in a long time. Mm -hmm. It's cool. Somebody behind me now who is following, there's the same person who had given the pass down the hill. And that's how I know that they didn't know where they were going. So when they reach in a new castle and him see me, him happy, him start to speed up like him as a rock stone. So the car they did I go, which palm me I go. You know what I mean? Two black girls in a little car. I can't say minibus because I'm a minibus, so we know why. Nope. Yeah. This is we'll do that. So here's a biker, guys. Our hiker biker hi yep it's a peaceful kind of vibe very it's serene cool. quite tranquil if you want to clear your mind and forget that the rest of Jamaica exists this is definitely the very place cool. for you it rains you literally can't see because the fog is gonna be standing right on your cheeks and it has started to drizzle I'm going to say a prayer now, Father God, do me, I beg you, don't make it come down. I want to be in and out before it does. All right, guys, welcome to Hollywell. Boy, the sign kind of want to fix. And if you look over to that section, look at that. You're looking all the way down on Kingston City. Did I do with a, a nice little um, jacket. This is the Blue Bruise Bistro. And if I'm not lying, I think today is when it is opening. We're here right inside Hollywell. Already you can feel that nice breeze. And um, you know, it's showing us everything here. If you want to get to the picnic areas, they are further down there. We never come prepared to go do all of this. Like I said, it was a spontaneous drive. We're wearing sandals, not sneakers. Sneakers would have been ideal for this. So if it is that we should follow this path, we will end up on what is the Wagwater Trail. And I'll just show you a little bit of what exists around there. You just have to follow this little pathway all the way around and then you get there. So when you're hiking here, you will find that um, there are some trails that lead you to some waterfalls. A lot of people don't know that. But this is the lovely Blue and Junker Mountains. And if you look here, this tree, in case you don't ever know. So tall it is, all the way up to heaven. Oh, this is the blue maho tree. Only for geography lesson they are saying, a social studies lesson right here. On this side, we have what is the discovery center and the gift shop. And I think we can venture down there to see what's inside. The path is not so bad. If there are any children watching this, or even Jamaicans, because I should know this, this is an abeng, and this is what the Maroons actually use as their primary means of communication. Depending on how it's blown, it will 
indicate if there is um, going to be a war. So, for example, if there are enemies in the camp, you'll be told. If not, then um, they just do this to signal their people. Good way to learn about this, read The Young Warriors by V.S. Reed, Jamaican author. So this here is an example of um, a cocoon and it is a bean that is grown in a giant pod and ultimately what they use this to do is to create a camouflage. So if you look right here on this picture, this is a maroon and he seems to be covered in vines. That's the camouflage, right? So I have another example of it here. Used for camouflage among our people. I have to say our people. There are a lot of persons who believe that maroons are extinct. But they're alive and well. And they're still to be found within their villages. And here we have a caramante drum. Yes. And the significance of this is that it's used to provide healing. Know your history. Can't be Jamaican and not know this. So these are some other plants to be found here in the Blue Mountain, Blue Mountain Yaka. And this one is found only in the Blue Mountains. And it is one of only three native needle leaf trees in Jamaica. What a rich history. And we have the Caribbean pine. And over there, so we have the Blue Maho. All right, so Marlon is here with me. And Marlon, tell me something which is quite spooky. I see this, right? And I'm saying, what's this? Oh, a little experiment for the kids. Okay, I could be a kid. So what's this? Hmm, it's a treasure box. Then he shows me this side and says, I can put my hand in there, feel, and then say what's inside. So me, I say, uh-uh, now nah go work. Me, now nah put my hand in a nothing. Women don't know what's in there. So Marlon. Oh, so you don't feel things all oh, like the frog and okay. Oh, I see what you mean. So it's not anything too great in terms of the mystery. All right, because you know, me never gonna put my hand in there. Next time we look, when we come out, my handless. <laughs> well, this is pretty cool. Um, I think everybody who takes a trip here should definitely check out the uh, Discovery Center. Discovery Center is a whole mood. Yeah, the snakes, everything, every single thing. Mapa Jamaica, this is quite informative, quite engaging, and I love it. Looking at some of the watersheds that are here, and we can identify what is this at the top, Reach Falls. And we see the Hermitage Dam, the Mona Reservoir, and this one is called Fish Dam, right? And guys, I think I went here last year for my birthday. Really nice. Did the Blue Mountain bicycle tours, and then went down to this river slash waterfall and i was in heaven so this one is one i was thinking about yes oh yes 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 waterfall. i know this i have a picture on my phone i'm going to show you i know this and this was the first time i was seeing anything like this like me i said jesus and you know what i was told about this particular waterfall that no matter what happened no matter which drought on the island this particular waterfall is always active yeah, it just get low but it, it it's running. always running. running you see a good people up here that is what that means. I know it. So here's the thing. A lot of people talk about um, busu. The best busu soup is to be found in Portland. In fact, maybe the only place you will get busu soup is in Portland. And you find it in where? In the Rio Grande um, Valley. So the debate has always been on what exactly is busu. According to this information... Now I'm going to look at it then, which is about rainfall and watershed. They're saying that um, busu is janga and snails. Is that what this is saying? No. Numerous streams and rivers resulted in the windward maroon cuisine being dominated by freshwater animals. So these are things like fish, crayfish, shrimp, example of shrimp would be janga, and snails, example, busu. So you are telling me busu or snail? Well, if busa snail, let me tell you something. I the best tasting thing ever. Love it. Come show me. So this is what busa supposedly looks like, guys. If busa is really snail, managa I don't talk. Are the best tasting thing ever. I've had it. I've had it, and I've had it, and I've had it. Busa soup are the best. So here we have busa. I'm being told that this here is the busa outside of the shell. Well, if a snail, I care zero. Because right now, if I go somewhere and them say busa soup, you best believe I'm going to be having this. Love it. So guys, guess what? We have to sign 
and you don't know we have a sign with our channel name vibing with via yep we're gonna put our number Ah, uh, email address. I'm not sure what kind of comment I need to make, but I just want to say, you know what? Rich energy. Should I leave a comment that says subscribe and ask them to subscribe to my channel? <laughs> <laughs> hey guys so we have britannia salmon here with us she is a tour guide and guess what she's a friend of the blue mountain so britannia talk to us a little bit tell my vibing with via peeps why it is so cool to be here at hollywell so well hollywell is a world heritage site and it's if you want to be one with nature this is the very best place to be just come and take a look <laughs> yes, it was our pleasure being here at the Discovery Center. So thank you for showing us all the lovely things that is here. Say bye to the peeps. <laughs> <laughs> Almost every Jamaican knows about this and use it, right? So it grows so tall. This is my first time seeing a eucalyptus tree in a real life. <laughs> wow. So here we have the yaka blue tree. Yaka. This is a blue mountain yaka. What and is it good right for? Next to it you have soap wood all right so back soap in the days, this is what they, um, our folks used to use for soap so the leaf of it can make soap actually are you serious um, so that's what our folks used to use back in the days for soap oh make soap really? what's it called soap wood soap wood, soap wood. okay it's, one of our okay. Native plants. it's a native plant as well oh awesome so this place full of up here history i don't think jamaican people know this marlon which is a problem for me right now yeah, man. so this is one of the reasons why it's also a world heritage site because of its high biodiversity the plants and animals are in the world oh right? okay lovely i'm gonna love that what are we seeing over there though when well, we look through no, this little place. um area what's that that we're looking at all the way down there oh, in that area, looking, yeah um, that actually, Content spring area. Oh, that's content spring? The junction. Oh, the junction. Mm -hmm. So that's like oh, if you are coming up on. from um, Mana Park side to come oh, to know. Portland. Right. Okay. So let me ask a question. Can people actually get lost up here? Like yeah. inside of this area? Um, well, people say get lost, but I don't think they can get lost in this space. Why? Most, the trail, most of the trails that we have here loop around from one area to the next. So oh. you find out that you're going around in circles. Okay, right. so at some point in time, you must come back to the central area, which yes. is here. Yeah. Okay. Yes, unless you don't follow the signs that we have. Uh, okay, so if you can't read, you're in trouble. <laughs> if you a can person can't the read, they can't follow the arrow. But remember, <laughs> so if you have follow the arrow, then you can't read too. <laughs> yeah. yeah, this is lovely. The bathrooms. So you have the toilet set up. Then they have this now, where water. they have water stored. And of course, this is the area. It's just rustic and nice, yeah? Yeah, and then around there. Mm -hmm. Yep, here we go. Here's the bathroom. Yeah, man, they have everything. I think that's a proper place. Ooh. Yeah, guys, look at the bathroom. It's nice and clean. I figured it was important for me to show this as well because a lot of persons might think, oh, wonder what it's going to be like. Modern enough. All right. All right, so this is from Tony's farm. <laughs> and this is raspberry look how this look nice and rich and red and scrumptious and everything that is good right so this is 200 dollars worth initially this is it you know you know them say sometimes say hugs say the first, first water, water yes catch your wash, wash. Yeah. because exactly because when i came in they had a lot and i said oh let me just take it when i'm going to leave and then when i am leaving all they have left is 200 dollars worth but guess what i got it All aboard cause the road I go start crash Strap me in safe with the engine start up Good food me a break can't get enough It's vibing with Via So grab your phone grab your tablet I just say can't miss It's vibing with Via